what's up it's just a short one from me today and i'm just quickly doing some royal rumble 2017 predictions so the first match on the card is let me just have a quick look going to be wait whoops one second the club versus sheamus and cesaro for the raw tag team championships i think sheamus and cesaro will pick up the win i do think that the club will be the next tag team champions but Sheamus and Cesaro haven't had it that long and they like, just reached their best. So I think they'll keep it for a bit longer just for that reason. The next match is also on the kickoff show, which is Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. I'm not really sure about this one, though I'm going to say Sasha Banks via some sort of like disqualification, interference, count out, I don't know. So yeah. Uh, the next one is going to be Becky Lynch, Naomi and Nikki Bella versus Alexa Bliss, Mickey James and Natalia. Unfortunately, no, actually, I think my Alexa Bliss might win this one because her and Mickey have just become a team. That is who I want, although I have a sneaking suspicion that the face team are going to win it just because it's Nikki Bella and Becky Lynch. Uh, after that, we're on to the main show with John Cena versus AJ Styles. I think for the WWE Championship, I think John Cena is going to win this one. Mainly just so we can tie Ric Flair's record and then he's going to beat it at WrestleMania somehow. Uh, and then after that we've got Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens in an ODQ match for the Universal Championship where Chris Jericho is suspended above the ring in a shark cage. I think that Kevin Owens is going to win via some sort of like Chris Jericho like drop down the US title or something and he'll win with that uh, or something like that. Although I feel like Roman Reigns probably will. That's just what I think personally though. After that we've got Bailey versus Charlotte. Bailey, Charlotte's going to win this because they're not going to end a pay-per-view streak. It's simple as that. They'll save that till Mania. And then after that, it's Neville versus Rich Swan for the Cruiserweight Championship. Neville's just obviously going to win that. It's not really like any... Like, don't even need to explain that. That isn't any particular order. That's just like... However, that's just how I wrote them down. And then after that, which will be the last match, the Royal Rumble match. I think that Samoa Joe and Finn Balor... James Ells, no, not James Ells, but Tyler Bate and Triple H will all make surprise entries in that as well. Although I'm not really sure. And yeah, so I think Eric Rowan might also return, although that's may, that's still a maybe. And I th- I'm not really sure at all who's going to win it. Like, I couldn't actually tell you. So I've got no honest clue. Uh, let's have a look. Dolph Ziggler, me? No. It could be out of Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, Chris Jericho, Braun Strowman, The Undertaker, Cesaro, no, not Cesaro, Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, uh, and Samoa Joe, Finn Balor. There's so many, really. I'm going to go with Samoa Joe, just because I think that would be a really good debut. So, yeah, sorry if I've been a bit, like, slow and jittery this episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe and I will see you all later. Bye!